It was once Nairobi's tallest building. The Kenyatta International Conference Center was a true representation that one had truly landed in Kenya's capital. But the KICC has over the years evolved into more than just an iconic landmark in Nairobi's skyline. It's perhaps the only place that has made Nairobi a key hub for meetings, incentives, conferences and exhibitions, also referred to as MICE in the tourism industry lingo. According to the 2014 International Conventions and Congress Association report, Nairobi is the second biggest destination for conferences in Africa after Durban, South Africa. We've had a very consistent uh, flow of business and uh, on a daily basis we do not lack more than uh, three events going on at the same venue. So we actually activate the movement of the economy pretty well. And the ripple effect of conference tourism on the general economy is major. A research done by the Kenya Institute for Public Policy Research and Analysis shows that one international client coming to hold a conference in Nairobi spends at least 397,000 shillings on conferencing alone. This is more than five times the amount one leisure traveler would spend. In total, MICE actually contributed uh, 26 0.7 billion uh, in the Kenyan economy. Budget hotels are among the main beneficiaries of the revenues that accrue from conferences. One such hotel is Mvuli Suits, which is located outside Nairobi's central business district. You can depend on the business traveler 365 days around the year, whereas when you look at your tr tourism, uh, your leisure travel, it is pegged on your July, August, December, January seasonalities. And according to the chairman of the Nairobi chapter of the Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers and Caterers, business tourism can provide a major boost to hotels. Last year alone, most of the hotels in Nairobi closed above 75% occupancy, whereas the hotels in Mombasa and the lodges were closing at 40-50%. And as the profile of conference tourism rises, the shift is now focusing on Kenya's 47 counties, this as Kenya looks to compete with South Africa, which holds 118 international conferences every year in comparison to Kenya's 38 meetings every year. So we'll actually do product mapping to ensure demand informs the kind and the size of the facilities that we provide. Feasibility studies are currently ongoing for the construction of a 15,000 seating capacity conference center in Mombasa, which has a combined bed capacity of 40,000. This, coupled with the construction of another convention center in Kisumu, are expected to help Kenya break away from seasonal tourism. Balaganga Citizen Business Center.